Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. We might start seeing Joho and Junaid Muhammad in Azimio's political rallies. Yesterday, Raila shared out some posts. Raila Odinga had a refreshing lunch with my brothers, Tuko Imara. And then you are seeing Junaid Muhammad Oparanya, Raila, and Joho. And also ODM party shared out this. The ODM party. ODM leader, His Excellency Raila Odinga, this afternoon held a consultative meeting with his deputies, Honorable Wycliffe Oparanya and Honorable Hassan Al Joho, during which they discussed party matters and the ongoing people's consultative forums being pushed by the Azimula Umoja One Kenya Coalition. Also present was National Assembly Minority Whip, Honorable Junet Mohamed. And then you are seeing those photos there, Junet Oparanya Raila and Joho. In this video, I want us to understand what is going on behind the scenes. But before doing that, if you are watching us, but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Yes. Those photos were shared yesterday. At a time we saw nine ODM MPs meeting William Ruto at State House, Nairobi. And I personally believe that was deliberate to achieve some political objectives. The first objective, Raila Odinga was using the meeting with Joe and Junet Mohamed to actually thwart the impact of the ODM members of parliament meeting William Ruto at State House. And you know, if you study William Ruto's politics, Ruto's politics is based on perception. Ruto wanted to use that yesterday's meeting to create a perception that Raila Odinga is finished politically. Or rather, Raila is getting finished politically. So Raila, to counter that, he brings in Junet Mohamed and go into the picture to create this impression that as others might be leaving, Others might now be changing their positions and now becoming stronger in the party. If maybe they had some other plans, they are now making a U-turn and they are now just affirming their support in the party. I believe that's the first objective Raila wanted to achieve by sharing out that. And then secondly, Raila shared out that those photos as a confirmation that Joho and Junet Mohamed are still part of ODM and Azimio. Because yesterday, upon those members of parliament meeting William Ruto, there were also some rumors doing rounds that even Joho and maybe Junet Mohamed were also in the plan to meet William Ruto. So by Raila actually sharing those photos, that was just a way of Raila Odinga confirming to Azimio supporters that Junet Mohamed and Joho are firmly in ODM party. And just as I've stated, we might start seeing Joho and Junet Mohamed once more in Raila's political rallies across the country. And if you look at it diligently, Joho's absence and Junaid Mohamed's absence in Raila's political tours created a void. And that void, no leader around Raila Odinga could fill that void. Because listening to Junaid, Junaid has a way of actually hitting it, or rather shooting straight, hmm? hitting it to the point. Junaid has that kind of a talent. Joe likewise. 
And if you look at the reasons why your home and your net were actually missing, I tend to believe your net's absence from Raila's political tours was deliberate. And it was deliberate because Dunet was one of Raila's trusted lieutenants, and upon William Ruto being declared the winner, some of Raila's supporters felt that the likes of Dunet might have misled Raila Odinga. So Dunet had to take a tactical retreat, a break at least for Raila's supporters to heal before now actually emerges, he re-emerges again. And I tend to believe Dunet is just about to re-emerge once more. He will soon be seen in Raila's political tours across the country. On the other hand, I believe that Joe, Joe, Joe's absence from Raila's political tours, Joe was just disappointed as a result of August events, political events. So I'm seeing a Joe who took a break to actually digest what happened and to figure a way out. And I believe now that he's now emerging is a sign that he has figured out the best thing and maybe his political direction. And that's why he is actually now emerging once more with Raila Odinga. So all these are just political maneuvers by Raila Odinga and the Azimio Brigade. But above all, if you look at Azimio as it is right now, I personally believe that Raila Odinga should now identify eh, his true supporters and he should now give his true supporters the podium in his political rallies across the country. Because it's a fact, a good majority of leaders who have been actually surrounding Raila Odinga, they don't mean well for Raila Odinga. They have just been using Raila Odinga's popularity for them to win seats. And I'm saying that based on these ODM leaders who just met William Ruto yesterday. It's clear that some it's Raila Odinga who actually helped them to win their seats. And now that they joined William Ruto yesterday, and even some were acting as Raila's lawyers in the Supreme Court, you can see clearly that they might have even sabotaged Raila's petition at the Supreme Court. As Raila's supporters were hurting, it appears some of these leaders were just happy and going on with their businesses as, us as usual. So you are seeing that these are leaders who maybe they might have been sabotaging Raila's political, yeah, Raila's political journey or Raila's political plans. And also, if you look at the likes of Karoli Omondi, Karoli Omondi just some weeks ago was calling for the removal of leaders such as Junet Mohammed. And you are seeing clearly that the leaders such as Junet Mohammed, these are the real Raila supporters. These are leaders who cannot abandon Raila irrespective of what happens. So now just see, Karoli Omondi was actually calling for the removal of Junet Mohammed. I'm seeing a pattern emerging there where there was a, an elaborate scheme or a deliberate plot to make sure that any leader who is a true Raila supporter is actually removed eh, around Raila Odinga. Mm, Raila's true supporters, for Raila Odinga to be exposed. And for the time Joe and Junet have been actually missing, you are seeing that actually Raila has been exposed. And the leaders who are calling for the removal of Junet, you are seeing that the first ones to visit William Ruto at State House. So as I con conclude, I personally, it's my opinion that leaders such as Junet Mohammed, Joe Hong, those are leaders who should be close by Raila Odinga. Not these other ones just talking aimlessly, but inwardly, they don't mean well for Raila Odinga. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. But just as I did indicate when we were starting, if you are watching us, but you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, give this video a like.
and to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Any other person who want to support us here, as always, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or feel free to channel your support to the number. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.